position, sports wards, take one. Welcome to the University of Leicester Sports Awards 2021. I did eight minutes, one minute at a time. I'm actually really proud that I've managed to run five minutes continuously this week. Week seven was definitely the hardest week so far. It was quite intense. I guess I can say that I'm still looking forward to next week. I'm definitely looking forward to the finish line. So I'm running for around 28 minutes now, non-stop, which I never thought I'd manage to do in a million years. So I'm really proud of myself and how far I've come. But I am super pumped that I can actually run a 5K. I'm so proud of myself that I've managed to complete this challenge. Thank you so much for following me along on my Couch to 5K journey. It was an amazing journey. And thank you guys for watching my story. Hello everyone, it has been a very challenging year and there have been significant disruption to many of our activities. But I'm delighted we can celebrate your achievements in the sports awards. Last week, I was pleased to hear one of our own sports scholar, Nick Cummings, will be representing Team JB at Tokyo Olympics. I hope you've learned some valuable skills playing sports that will stand in good stead for the future. I hope you enjoy the celebrations. Good luck. Just wanted to say a huge congratulations on your nominations. I know how hard you've all worked this year, even though it's been a challenge, and good luck for Friday. Hi! Well done to everyone who's participated in university sport this year, especially considering all the changes and adaptations that were necessary. And an extra special well done to all those that have been nominated for awards this evening. Wishing you all the best of luck. Bye. Good luck to everyone who's shortlisted for an award tonight. As your sports officer, I am so proud of the resilience you lot have shown throughout the pandemic and you all deserve a lot of recognition for your hard work. Congratulations to all those nominated for awards tonight. This year has been so hard for everyone and best of luck. Good luck to all those shortlisted for the sports awards. I know this has been an incredibly tough year but you should all be so proud of yourselves. Congratulations to everyone nominated. Uh, I want to say thank you all enormously for the huge contribution you've made to support at Leicester this year on behalf of everyone in the Students' Union. I hope you're able to celebrate tonight uh, wherever you are and I uh, hope you're able to kind of look back and reflect on all of the brilliant things that you've done to make sport at Leicester so good this year despite all of the challenges that you faced. Well done again. We would like to wish everyone good luck in this evening's Sports Awards. A huge congratulations to everyone who was shortlisted and good luck from everyone here at Gardens and Grounds. We look forward to your return in September down here at Sturton Road. Good evening Team Leicester. I'm wishing everybody who has been nominated for award this evening the best of luck. Good evening, happy Sports Awards guys. Wishing you all the best. I know there's been some fantastic nominees so hopefully you get yourself one of these. Hi everyone, just want to say a huge congratulations to all those who are nominated for an award tonight. I uh, hope you enjoy your evening and are celebrating well. A massive well done to all those nominated for sports awards and best of luck to you all. A massive congratulations to all those shortlisted. We can't wait to see who's won. I hope you celebrate all night and have lots of fun. Good luck! Um, I just want to take out the time to say a huge congratulations um, and enjoy sports awards. It might not be the Athena but um, Staff have put in a lot of effort to try and make it as special as possible for you. So big shout out to them. Whether you're, you've are you been shortlisted, um, nominated, whether you've won something today, you've made a huge contribution to the student sport and community. So um, congrats on your win. Enjoy yourselves. And a special shout out to Liz Jennings, um, who of course will be leaving Sport and Active Life um, on behalf of all of the netballers that made your life a little bit more interesting. Um, thank you so much for um excelling in your role doing so much more than what you were supposed to do um and i hope you all enjoy 
the evening. Hello and welcome to this year's Virtual Sports Awards. I'm Lewis Jones. And I'm Lucy Brogdon. And I'm Lucy Brogdon. Unfortunately, we weren't able to host our normal sports awards event this year, but we couldn't let it pass without celebrating your achievements and applauding all of your successes. We hope that you've joined us in dressing up for the occasion. Now grab yourself a drink, settle in and enjoy the ceremony. If you are watching at home and you are all dressed up, please make sure to share your photographs with us on Twitter or Instagram using the hashtag UOL Sports Awards. We'd love to see how you're celebrating. We hope to see as many of you as possible in Centenary Square to enjoy the live streaming of the ceremony. Tonight, we have nine awards up for grabs. These awards will be presented by some of our colleagues here at the University of Leicester, so look out for some familiar faces. We wish all of our finalists a massive good luck from us here at Sport and Active Life. And now, before we get started, here are a few opening remarks from our Director of Student Opportunity, Rob Fryer. Over to you, Rob. Good evening, everyone. I'm delighted to be welcoming you to the University of Leicester's 2021 Sports Awards. This year has been very different. But despite all of the lockdowns, the restrictions, and all of the challenges we've had to overcome, our clubs have worked incredibly hard this year to make sure our sporting offer has been available to all of our members. We've seen lots of fundraising, online fitness sessions, skills sessions, many Zoom quizzes, and so many creative and inspirational stories from so many of you that have worked hard to keep your community engaged with sport this year. Although we're unable to come to celebrate together, I hope you've joined us in dressing up for the occasion to celebrate with family and friends. And to our finalists, congratulations for making it this far. I wish you all the best. Good luck to everybody. Thank you, Rob. Before we get started with the awards, we want to celebrate those that have achieved club colours and maroons this year. Each year, a select few receive club colours for their contribution to their Team Leicester clubs and maroons for their regional and national accomplishments. We congratulate everybody who's received an award this year. Congratulations to all of our Maroons and Club Colours winners. Now, without further ado, let's get on with the ceremony. Introducing our first award is Coach of the Year with Claire Jackson. Hi everyone. I am incredibly proud of all of the coaches here at the University of Leicester. They dedicate so much of their time and effort into bettering our students and their clubs. Tonight, we have three incredibly deserving finalists, each of whom have gone above and beyond in their coaching roles in this difficult year. These three finalists are Chris Abel, Rugby League, Megan Armitage, Swimming and Water Polo, and Martin Knowles, Running and Athletics. This winning coach has an incredible passion for their sport has entered the world of online coaching over Zoom and has worked on an initiative to increase club membership numbers. Running away with Coach of the Year is Martin Knowles from Running and Athletics. A huge congratulations to Martin, very well deserved. 
Now on to our next award, the Sports Scholar of the Year Award, presented by Head of Student Support Services, Sarah Cavendish. It's been another fantastic year for our sports scholars, many of whom have gained national and regional accolades for their hard work in their respective fields. This award recognises the student who has shown exceptional commitment to the sports scholarship programme whilst raising the profile of sports at the University of Leicester and consistently performing to a high standard. Despite this difficult year, this scholar has worked extremely hard to pursue his lifelong dream of competing in a Paralympics and we've got everything crossed that he makes the team. So this year's Scholar of the Year is Nick Cummins. Well done. It's now time for our third award, the Raising and Giving Award. This award is going to be presented by our very own sports officer, Hannah Belcher. Over to you. As your sports officer for this academic year, it gives me great pleasure to be awarding the Raising and Giving Award tonight. Fundraising is a big part of the Team Leicester community spirit, and this year clubs have been involved in several fundraising events. As a community, it was brilliant to see all of our clubs coming together for our virtual varsity fundraiser, but these next three clubs have really gone the extra mile with their fundraising. The nominees for RAG are Women's Football and Futsal, The Hockey Club, and Cheer and Stunt. The winner of this year's award have fundraised for several charities, including Loris and Women's Aid Leicestershire, by moving 2,500 kilometres and even staying awake for over 24 hours. Your RAG winners are... The Hockey Club. Thanks, Anna. A big congratulations to our Hockey Club for their achievements this year. It makes us incredibly proud to see them raising so much money for such worthy causes. Now on to our fourth award, and it's back to Hannah for the Beyond Sport Award. The next award is the Beyond Sport Award, given to a student who has made an outstanding contribution, not just in sport, but to university life too. We have three incredibly deserving students nominated for this award. Henry Rhodes from Rugby League, Millie Abbott from Cheer and Stump and Hannah Shaw from Running and Athletics. As club captain, this student has spearheaded many fundraising campaigns throughout the year to raise money and awareness for various charities and issues. Your Beyond Sport winner is Millie Abbott. Congratulations to Millie there, a very worthy winner. We're now nearly at the halfway point of our ceremony, with four awards down and five left to go. Next up is the Special Recognition Award, and for this award I'm handing over to Liz Jennings, our Sport Experience Manager, to present the award. Hi everyone and thank you for joining us tonight. This special recognition award goes to an individual who has gone above and beyond what any of us could expect. This award winner is a friendly face within the sports community at Leicester and he can often be seen out on the gym floor at the Daniel Brown Sports Centre, helping out our students and particularly our sports scholars. He has even made the time to be out coaching our women's football team. He's an amazing asset to the Sport and Active Life Department and it gives me a great pleasure to give this award to him this evening. This special recognition award goes to Mark Simmons. Thanks Liz, a big congratulations to Mark, a thoroughly deserving winner. As Lucy mentioned, we're over halfway through the awards with only four awards left to give out. We hope you're enjoying watching at home, but for now, we're going to pass over to Head of Sport, Matt Weir, for the Committee of the Year Award. Over to you, Matt. Hi all. As Head of Sport, it's been brilliant to see so many of our committees working together so creatively this year to ensure there has been some kind of sporting offer available to our students. 
Each of tonight's Committee of the Year nominees have gone above and beyond their normal roles to ensure their members can still engage in their sport, be it over online sessions during the lockdowns or in-person sessions once restrictions were lifted. Tonight's nominees are Cheer and Stunt, Men's Football and Swimming and Water Polo. This winning club have been truly committed throughout the pandemic, organising regular online fitness sessions throughout the lockdowns and ensuring that in-person training could go ahead as soon as possible. They have taken part in many fundraising opportunities and are currently working with Sport and Active Life to create a swim school to allow more students to become swim safe. Your committee of the year is Swimming and Water Polo. Thank you, Matt, and congratulations to the Swimming and Water Polo Club. Now we're on to our next award, the Sports Personality of the Year Award, which will be presented by Sarah Cavendish. This award is for the Team Leicester member who's embodied everything university sport is all about. Passion, drive and commitment. This is an individual who's truly a great ambassador for sport at the University of Leicester. Our three nominees are Georgia Henson, Cheer and Stunt, Millie Abbott, Cheer and Stunt, and Sam Prettyman, Archery. The winner of this award has embodied their role as club captain, fully leading online sessions throughout the pandemic for their club and working with the sports officer to give out free personal alarms and safety equipment to students when exercising outside. Your Sports Personality of the Year is... Millie Abbott. Well done, Millie. Congratulations to our double award winner, Millie. Now, on to our penultimate award of the evening, Outstanding Contribution to Sport. We're going to pass back over to Matt Weir to present this award. The Outstanding Contribution to Sport is an award dedicated to a final year student who has made significant impact to the profile of sport at Leicester and in the wider sporting community. Each year we are overwhelmed by the calibre of nominations. Nominees are Keegan Stewart, Men's Football, Henry Rhodes, Rugby League and Casey Manning, Cheer and Stunt. Throughout this student's time at the university, they have taken on many roles and responsibilities, which have resulted in a wide range of successes not only within their club, but also in the wider Team Leicester and sporting community. Ex-treasurer of the football club and current football club captain, we'll be very sorry to see him graduate, but we wish him all the best for his future. Your winner of Outstanding Contribution to Sport is Keegan Stewart. Congratulations Keegan. It's now time for our final award of the evening and the one that you've all been waiting for. I'll be handed over to Rob Fryer to present the Club of the Year award. It gives me great pleasure to be introducing the final award of the night, the award for Club of the Year. Every year our 33 Team Leicester Sports Clubs continue to amaze and inspire us with their sheer commitment and desire to achieve greatness in everything they do. Suffice to say, they all deserve a round of applause. It was a tough choice to make, but we've narrowed down to three finalists for this award. Our nominees are Men's Football, Rugby League and Cheer and Stunt. This year's Club of the Year have adapted brilliantly to the situation they've found themselves in, providing an online offer for their members to engage in throughout the year, enhancing the intramural offer, raising money, ensuring that they were back playing in person as soon as possible. Your Club of the Year is Men's Football. Thank you, Rob. We'll hand over to Matt Weir to conclude the ceremony. 
As Head of Sport, I'm incredibly proud of all our students, coaches and our team who have worked so hard this year to make sure there was an offer available to our students. It's been an unusual year for everyone, but it's been great to see everyone pull together. I look forward to seeing you all in September for what is, hopefully, a full year of sport. Thanks, Matt. Congratulations to all of our nominees and award winners tonight. And thank you to everyone who has tuned in at home. Until next year, it's goodbye from us.